Hey, Dad, thanks for all that money for beating up random punks in our town. Uh, how was my day? Uh, maybe it went kind of something like this? Skate punk just shredded on his skateboard! My name's Frank. I'm the leader of this here Sharks gang. We own this town. We don't want any snot-nosed kid coming in here to break our town. You may think you tamed me, but just wait until you see my robot. Cut. Yeah, and I didn't even know the punks could have access to robot technology. Go figure. Well, I'm a little bit away from my next level. Why don't you just save my game and go back to whatever you're doing over there? I'm starting to think Ness's dad is actually the phone. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, dad. Sure. I, I, I love you too. He never wants to talk to me for too long. Oh well. Welcome back to Earthbound. I just had a nice call with my dad. You know what? Maybe we should call our mother, too. If you don't call your mother at uh, parts of the game, Ness will become homesick, and he'll start wasting turns. So, let's try and, uh, you know, prevent that. Also, it's good to call your dad, too. Because uh, if you die, you'll go back to the last time you saved, or last area you saved in. So it's a good idea to have it set here. Looks like Tracy is working even though she's only like, what, 9 or 10? Labor laws apply in Earthbound, don't they? That is, I'm sure that's violating some kind of child labor law. Tracy, why don't you come out here with a baseball bat? There's plenty of money to be had. Instead, no, she's a workaholic, just like Dad. Uh, we don't need to pick anything up. Escargot Express will become very useful later on when our bag starts getting full. Speaking of bag... We got a whole bunch of hamburgers. They're just better bread rolls. You've seen them in action? That's the power of beef. Also, I need to pick something up at the drugstore, and I have to pick something up right here at the city hall. Or the town hall. Onet is not large enough to be a city. I don't even know where the prerequisites where a city ends and the town begins. Or vice versa? I don't know the population sizes. Let's just talk to the mayor. Maybe the mayor could tell us about population sizes. Surely as a politician, he knows all about these statistics. Hey, hey, hey! It's B.H. Perkle. How you doing? Yes, I did what your cops did not. I did all these things. I beat them with a bat, too. And I made them do their tax returns. It's never too late. Never too early. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Yeah, there's a there's a plot device back there that I need to get a hold of. Oh, you're gonna cop out? Haha, <laughs> I said cop, with the cop right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to give this guy, you know, reasonable doubt, whatever. Politicians do not like to get involved if there's something bad gonna happen. He'll risk their chance of re-election or whatever. Whatever. Sure. This is the last time we need to go to City Hall. It's fine. City Hall's for losers anyway. 
losers that have keys. The things that are not loser related. So let's just check out the drugstore too. I forgot to get a cheap bracelet last time I was in here. Mainly because I didn't have the cash for it. And secondly, when I did have the cash for it, I forgot to get it. Cheap bracelet! It's an accessory. It goes on your arms. So that means you can wear at least uh, three pieces of armor. One for the body, one for the arms, and uh, some kind of accessory of some sort, like a hat. That's fine. All we need is the power of bat, anyway. It's not like Ness gets some kind of super powerful, totally customized and unique psychic attack or something like that. No, that's ridiculous. Everything runs away because I'm too powerful for them. I beat up crows, but why? You have a key now, don't stare at the door. I have to do everything. Even Ness makes me do everything. Then if we used the key, we could enter, and... Wow, Frank really did trash this place. Tore the wall down? Look at the bed. I think there is a problem here. The problem is there's a spring there. It's not posturepedic in the least. I also found out you could search or talk by holding the... the hitting the left shoulder button. So... That's helpful. I don't have to go through this menu every single time. Welcome to Giant Step! There's new enemies here! Like that mouse. A very violent mouse with a red nose. This is the Rowdy Mouse! These guys are kind of dangerous. They only have one attack, but that attack has a very high chance to smash you. And otherwise, you'll just do about one hit point of damage. Plus, right now, they soak up a lot of hits. See that? Three hits to knock him out. I can't accept this. So it looks like I'm going to have to find a nice safe place that I could farm up some experience points so these guys are not as menacing. And also, they're breeding like rabbits. There wasn't a mouse there a second ago, but now there is. It's like mitosis or something. Now it only took two hits. Good. I'm getting better at this. My batsmanship has went up. I wish Guts would go up more than that. Guts is very helpful to me. It saved me against Frank. No more mice! No more mice ever! Give us a different opponent. Different enemy. Something that's not a mouse. Look at him. He's not even watching what he's doing. He has his eyes shut, going, uh, maybe if I close my eyes, this will go away. Ow! He hit me with a baseball bat. How did that happen? Looks, maybe I could just respawn that guy. Huh? How about this? I walk off the screen, you respawn that mouse. Come on, work with me. Third try. I'm fine, I'll fight the mouse. Holy cow. Game, you are ignorant, and I'm getting tired of fighting these mice. Can they at least smash me once to show the audience? No, apparently they're all blind. Three blind, four blind mice. Yeah. Giant step, the land of the blind mice. Well, those are new enemies. You see those tiny little dots? Those are enemies over there. Lots of enemies. It's a swarm of slugs. Okay, it's an attack slug. These guys almost always appear in groups. Unless they're uh, with something else. So these are pretty much one-shot mooks of this area. They're not exactly that dangerous. But, um, yeah. Their damage isn't all that impressive either. Stop missing. You hit mice. So, uh, you can hit these things. They're not exactly that small. About the size of a small dog. I'm kind of concerned about the slug problem. Sometimes, I don't know why they are able to concentrate there. You didn't really do anything that would make them lose concentration to begin with. But they also have other moves, like, uh, I believe they pack Hypnosis, and they also pack, uh, an ability that they just get closer to you, and it starts doing more damage. It's menacing. Let's check out what's over here. This looks like an area that might have prizes. Or maybe new enemy types. What are these? Ants! Black Antoids, actually. Black Antoids are pretty much the middle ground between the Rowdy Mouse and the Slugs. 
They don't have as much health, they hit a little bit harder than the slugs do, and also they have psychic powers as well. They have a... Uh... Maybe they'll show it off. Maybe I'll make him show it off. Oh, he has call for help, but it didn't work. They also have Life Up Alpha, which uh, makes them annoying in groups. So take them out first. Or they're just going to be healing away your damage. And sometimes they drop a cookie. I don't think it's very often, though. If you were wondering if you murder several enemies in a row, it just increases the chance to get a drop. It doesn't give you multiple drops. I don't believe. I haven't seen it otherwise. Here's a mixed team. This is a good example of attacking the Black Antoid first. Because he's the support. And that Rowdy Mouse, he is the attack. Just like in Team Fortress 2, please kill the Medic before you kill that Heavy. Because the Medic is the one that could become invincible. There's an example of a Smash. Believe me, it is a high rate of Smash chance, I'm telling you. At least they're good for levels. Oh, what is this? My favorite thing in psychic form. What what the heck is that doing there? It's an offensive spell. A deadly psychic kinetic wave is caused by doing let's plays. Yeah, it's it's channeled by my ability to do let's plays. Let's try it out. Maybe these are two black antoids. Indeed they are. Let's try it. Psy gaming. Um, I use Cave Story on you, because that was my first Let's Play ever, and this is a relatively weak attack. It's like that's a weak Let's Play. See that? Quote just shot you with Spur. Now you're dead. That tends to happen when you're shot with a laser beam. As you can tell, that was the first psychic attack we've ever used in the whole game. It's actually pretty nifty. A little bit trippy, a little bit laser light showy. You know what? I, I don't want that present just now. No. In fact, I'm gonna recycle this room until there's no enemy here. I can do that. I have time. I have all the... Stop making mice. Stop it! No! No mice! <sighs> you know what? I wouldn't mind a pack of attack slugs right now because I could just kill them all with Psy Gaming anyway. Stop making mice. This is the last try. Fine, whatever. You know what? I hate mice. I hate that present. It's probably a mouse in there. Oh look! A whole bunch of attack slugs. They want to give me a hug. Great. Look at them all. There has to be at least six or seven in there. Psych- Ah! They have to do this the old-fashioned way. Running away. Running away sounds like a great idea. Fine. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. You see, some of them edge closer. They are gonna hit harder, so I'm, I'm gonna have to kill them. They're gonna be dangerous. I think they hit harder. Okay, maybe it's just a waste to turn instead. In the original Mother game, if some of the enemies would edge closer to you and start hitting tremendously hard, you don't like that. Uh, I thought it would apply to Earthbound. I guess I'm having my games a little bit confused. That's fine. Here we are, bashing slugs. Why? I'm out of psychic powers. Nah. You're not very good at hypnosis. You know? Do not get hypnotized by slugs. Um, they're not very imaginative with their suggestions. You know what? They don't even ask you to act like a chicken. You know what? If they asked me to act like a chicken, I would probably dropkick them. Because that's offensive towards me. And I don't appreciate offensiveness towards avians. Thank you. Not a chicken. I don't have that thing on my head. Oh look, more slugs. You know what? Cut. Yeah, now we're back. And we got back attacked. Great. You stupid ant. I hate you. You're the worst ant ever. And I'm out of psychic powers. I have to eat hamburgers in front of you. Because that's what I am. Rude and inconsiderate. I didn't even want to share this hamburger with ants. There we go. Dead ant. Just like the pink panther. There's dead ants everywhere. 
Here's a nice little rest area right here. Complete with a magic butterfly. So this is where I'm going to be farming for a little while. Because I can abuse this butterfly, it'll keep coming back. First of all, I'll use it for healing. And then if I come back through this door... Hey, hey! Another butterfly! More healing for me! Well, it doesn't heal me. It just uh, brings back all of my PP. Pee -pee. All the PP. Pee -pee. I just like saying that word now. It used to be awkward towards me, then I just like it. And now what we do is just abuse this doorway. I'm trying to... There's usually a pack of attack slugs right here. I'm trying to get them to spawn now. I want to show you the pa attack slugs! Ah. This game's not doing what I want today. First it gives me mice, and now it's not giving me attack slugs to nuke with my powers of Let's Play. One more try. Fine, whatever, I'll do it on my own time. Uh, I'll see you later. Alright, and we're back! And it's, uh, now I'm a level 11. Which is enough to effectively one-shot anything that attacks me on its own. Also, case in point, um, this butterfly will actually respawn itself, even if you just walk it off the screen and come back. You don't need to go through this door, I just like doing that to recycle the enemies. The reason why I did a little level grind there is because these sanctuary bosses are actually quite tough. And I want to make sure that... Darn these cookies! Yes, I had to run into a lot of ants. Lots and lots of ants. I'll just eat that cookie. It's delicious. Great. Good. I'm happy about it. Yeah, I want that hamburger. It's better. But we should be able to come up on our boss soon. There's some ants are in our way. All of the ants. As soon as I start the recording again, I get attacked by ants. Story of my life. I think it's the cookies. That's why some of them have cookies. I wonder how much weight one of those ants could lift. They're about the size of a small dog. Why is everything the size of a small dog in this game? Even the snakes. Size of a small dog. In width, not length. Yeah, see, I could just step on these things now. And they die. Boo-hoo, he is dead now. There we go, that's something new. This is, I guess you would call him a chapter boss. It's one of the, your sanctuary bosses. Indeed it is, but it's gonna be mine. Back down, buddy, back down. Please welcome Titanic Ant, and say goodbye to his two goons there in the back. See, we have to kill them, they're gonna heal him. Also, at our ridiculous level, he won't be able to hurt us too badly. Once that hit them are out of the way... I actually, uh, actually, I forgot to point this out. I picked this up, I was level 11, I got healing. It gets rid of stuff like poison and sickness. It's not all that great. There's better healings than that one. Let's try hypnosis on him. It has a 50% chance to work. And it didn't work for me there. I know he's going to try and steal away all of my PP. I don't want him to do that. I'd like to keep that life up there. He also has Shield Alpha that protects him against my Bash attack, which is unfortunately the only thing I have left. I don't have any PP regenerating items. Let's just get our heal in before he starts biting us to death. This guy's a little tougher than I'm making him look. See? He even survived a smash. I don't like him no more. He's keeping powers that should be mine. And he's using them against me somehow. I don't like this guy. I had a test play of this and I beat him in a few minutes. Oh, he also has that. Drops of defense. That's great. Too bad he didn't get to capitalize on it. He's a dead ant now. Join the rest of the ants in Ant Heaven. Or Ant Hell! I don't care which. Go to Ragnarok Online, I don't care. We also have Shield Alpha now, we stole it from him. Let's check our status on Shield Alpha, even though we already know what it does. It's under support! 
It drops the damage by 50%, and it only absorbs so much damage. Better shields will absorb more damage. And welcome to Giant Step! What happened? Wow, that's strangely calming. What's going on here? Ah, puppy! Wait, there's no puppy here. This shall not do. I will create a puppy with my mind. Looks like our soundstone just recorded music? What does this thing do? Sanctuary melodies. In the original game, you had to collect eight melodies. In Earthbound, same idea. You have to create eight melodies. And there's the first melody right there, out of eight. Looks like our adventure has only just begun. Man, I'm gonna need some backup. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need plenty more party members to do what we're going to be doing. So we might as well just head back to town now. Now that we've destroyed the sanctuary boss, all of these enemies are now afraid of us, no matter what our level is. Which gives us plenty of options to back attack. Even though I could one-shot these things anyway. Yeah, I'm a little overleveled. You, Mouse! Prepare to suffer my wrath! This is wrath. The wrath of... You don't even get a battle. You're lame. Hey, a bread roll! Excellent. That makes up for the one that got stolen from me in the first video. As you can see, the... The magic butterfly is now gone. And it looks like we got company. Oh no, another roadblock! Jeez, roadblocks everywhere. Well, might as well talk to the police officer, see why he's roadblocking off Giant Step for. Oh right, I forgot about this cavern here. The one that kept on spawning mice on me. As you can see, usual fare for SNES games, too much going on, on the screen, it starts slowing down. Well, that might come in handy. I'll keep it around. It's kind of lame. As I said before, cold remedies... They cure you of... colds. Obviously. There's a cure for the common cold in Eagle Land. I ate that cookie, because... C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Because I'm psychic. Shut up, I could get all the glucose out of my system by just thinking about it. Maybe there's a cure for diabetes, too. Eat too many cookies? Just think them away. Think all the sugar out of your system. Alright, what do you want? Um... Uh, oops! I, I didn't see that there. That big bold sign that says, Don't enter. Um... No, no, I can't read it. Um, aren't you gonna take me in? Okay, whatever. Looks like the police are kinda lenient around here. We're told to go to the police station. We're not handcuffed and dragged there. They don't believe in that police brutality stuff. Nah. They believe in the opposite. Police generosity. That's what I'm gonna call it now. Police generosity! Burger shop, lame. Drug store has nothing for us. Maybe we should take a little walk around on it before I give it a break for today. Like, uh, what is this here? How about this? Huh? How about that now? Putting a sign in front of the flowers, and then doing that. Own it! The wild flower of Eagle Land. I don't see many flowers except for the ones I just stepped on. There's a few buildings here. You can take a stop in, take a look. This is different. There's nobody in it! Why is it a different color? Why did it look important? Because they're punking us, that's why. That's the hospital. If uh, we happen to get sick and we don't have like a cold remedy or healing alpha on hand, you can go there and get healed. There's also, uh, I, I guess there's a cult of druids in there because there's healers. And uh, they can heal you of more weirder things that we'll see later on. Hey, I could check out a house. Um, I don't exactly have $7,500 on me though. How about a down payment of 77 bucks? Nah. 
You know what? I want this house, though. I definitely want that house. We're gonna be coming back here later. That's gonna be the Chocobo Casa. Casa de Chocobo, as I'm gonna call it. Excellent. I got the name already, I just need the funds. Do you? Do you really? Well, I expect more than life. Hey, free pizza! Nope. They're not open yet. That's mock pizza. They'll be relevant later. See? That's one of their delivery trucks right now. There's a bakery. It's kind of pointless. But it's right next to the police station where we have to go. But, uh, I don't want to go there just yet. You know, I, they only gave me an option. They didn't make it a requirement. Well, eventually I do have to go there. But I'm going to walk around town first and socialize. <laughs> Break the wind. Uh, they should really change their motto. Oh no, pop quiz! A Beatles reference. Um, I have no time for this right now. Uh, I did not answer your question. I just said no. I don't want to answer it. Uh, any free hamburgers? Fine. Fine. No free hamburgers. None ever. Fine. Whatever. I'm Armored Chocobo, and I'll see you later for more Earthbound! Good night, folks.